Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features the upcoming brand new dockyard reward ship, the tier 9 Japanese battleship, Dyson. It's described in game as being a fast battleship with powerful artillery and torpedo armament. The ship inherited a number of archaic features, including secondary battery guns mounted in casemates from projects of the 1910s. But this is the brand new Dyson. Now we've got two camos here in port. We have this dark grey and this green variant. These are the two camos that are currently available. You can see twin mounted 410 millimeter gun turrets, two fore and two aft, 16 torpedo launchers, two X4 launchers here on each side, formidable, formidable number of torpedoes, a large number of secondary guns, 36 in total. We'll go through all these numbers in a little bit more detail, but first, Let's take a look at the consumables before moving to the armor. This is just the build. I'm currently experimenting with a secondary build. You get damage con, repair party, or with this build, you have an option between the spotting aircraft and a fighter consumable. This is the build I'm using. Again, I'll stress I am currently experimenting with a secondary build so you can see the secondary skills here this will be reflected in the ship's accuracy and stuff like concealment etc okay so let's start with the dyson's armor layout which is quite notable for for the following reason let's see we have a four end plating of 32 millimeters deck same the main deck is in two levels, 32 millimeters. Aft end plating is again 32 millimeters. You do get an extended aft end armor belt of 76 millimeters. The belt armor is 305. Lower armor belt is 127, submerged. Gun turrets. Frontal plate of 508, which is quite strong. Top plating 254, 305, 254, and a rear plate of 229. Superstructure standard 19 millimeters. But here, when we look at the internal armor, looking at the Citadel itself, we can see there is sloped internal plating here on the front section of the citadel you can see here this armored deck slope the citadel is mostly submerged just protrude ever so slightly above the waterline but this armored deck slope is quite nice now the funny thing is it only extends back here as far underneath the the second funnel so there is no sloped plating here on the rear section of the this, this citadel. So it does tend to favor pushing forward and presenting this section of your armor towards the enemy and not kiting away, so to speak, as you're much more prone to be vulnerable to be citadeled under the rear turrets than you are under these front turrets. So your armored profile towards the bow is is pretty decent. So it does tend to encourage a a, a brawling playstyle. Moving forward, pushing forward, using your guns, your armor profile, your large number of secondaries, and your formidable array of torpedoes. Now, it would it seem to suggest this is set up to be a brawling battleship. Now, one would say this is quite large, so you're going to take large amounts of damage. 
But just looking at the raw numbers, this is what we can surmise. Survivability wise, now I must remind you always, of course, this is a work in progress at the moment. Excuse me, it's scheduled for a spring release. So I would assume either March or April update. So survivability, 69,300 hit points. Quite a very strong torpedo protection damage reduction of 53%. This is very nice indeed. Main artillery. You get 8 of these 410mm guns. In twin mounted turrets. You can see 2 fore and 2 aft. These have a very nice reload speed. Of 23.8 seconds. They can rotate 180 degrees in 33.5 seconds. Now with this build I am using secondary build remember. They have a max dispersion of 232 meters with a max firing range of 20.6 kilometers. This is further extended by having access to the spotting aircraft with an additional 20% range. Now these guns, they fire both high explosive and armor piercing. There are the gun stats, 6500 high explosive, max damage. 30% fire chance. They can pen 68 millimeters of armor with a shell speed of 869 meters per second. The armor piercing, slightly faster shell speed, 870 meters, but negligible, one meter per second in the difference, and a max damage of 12,900. Those are the main battery gun stats. Secondary battery, you get two gun calibers, you get 10 of these twin mounted 127mm, 4.3 second reload. With this build, in, this is max secondary build range, including skills, upgrades, lags, you name it, it's all on there. 105 kilometer max firing range. 2100 damage, 8% fire chance. They can pen 21 millimeters of armor with a shell speed of 725. So 20 of these 127s. Now this is further augmented by having 16 of these 140 millimeter guns. 36 secondary battery guns in total. These have a reload time of 6.8 seconds. The same max firing range of 10.5 kilometers. 2400 max damage, 10% fire chance. These can pen 23 millimeters of armor and have a shell speed of 850 meters per second. Now, formidable main battery and secondary armament. Now, this is further reinforced by having 16 torpedoes, 4 X4 launchers, 2 on each side. Both centrally located. The firing angles are not terrible. These have a high max damage of 20,967. They have a max firing range of 10 kilometers. 67 knots of speed. And can be detected at 1.7 kilometers. So very nasty torpedo armament. 16 torpedoes in total. Moving to the airstrike, you get two available flights, one aircraft per attack flight, dropping two bombs, a short operation range of only five kilometers. They can drop two bombs per payload with each bomb having a max damage of 4,200. So the operation range of these is quite limited, only five kilometers. In terms of AA defense, a rating of 77. 20 of these 25mm guns. Single mounted. 24 of these triple mounted 25mm. 16 of these twin mounted 40mm. And the main battery 
127 they double up dual purpose AA guns but not these not the 140s all combined they pump out a continuous average damage of 309 the vast majority of which is shared between medium and short range the Dyson fires six shell explosions per flak salvo the max damage of 1540 a priority sector reinforcement of 35 percent and the max firing range is 5.8 kilometers when it comes to maneuverability Dyson gets a max speed of 36.8 knots. This is utilizing the speed flag. A speed is 35 knots. Turning circle radius is quite large. 1100 meters. And a rudder shift time of 12.8 seconds. Now finally, with this build, stats wise, you get a concealment rating of 38. This equates to 14.9 kilometers by enemy surface ships and enemy submarines and aircraft at 10.4 kilometers. Now remember, I am currently experimenting with a secondary build and not using Concealment Expert. So this would further reduce the concealment quite considerably by 10% should you choose to do so. So this is the brand new dockyard ship that is currently in testing, the Dyson Tier 9 IJN Navy Japanese battleship. So I hope you enjoyed this little preview. Now I will remind you again, the Dyson is in testing, so it is subject to change throughout the testing process. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see some live gameplay, Feel free to come over and visit me on Twitch. You can see the link here on screen. I look forward to seeing you all. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.